So here they are, my new route predictions for 2024. I know this video is so delayed, I mean we're halfway through January but here we are. I promise next year I'm gonna post it during the first week of January at the latest but I did post my 2024 predictions on Instagram and they are roughly the same predictions that I'm gonna be making on here. And so I made a list of about 30 new route predictions that I think could happen in 2024. These predictions are based on my own speculation. Now this does not mean they're gonna happen for sure, and just because I mentioned multiple routes in one prediction, it doesn't mean all of them are gonna happen, but maybe one or two of them will happen. But anyway, let's get started with my 2024 predictions. Number one, American Airlines will have a long haul expansion. The main thing on here is I predict that American will win Delta's Tokyo Haneda slot, the one that American Airlines and United are fighting over. United wants to launch Houston to Haneda, while American wants New York JFK to Haneda, and I personally think American's gonna win this one. American will also return to Hong Kong after a four-year hiatus. American ended the route during the pandemic and hasn't returned since, although Russian airspace closure and low demand into Hong Kong might make this flight harder to operate. Now besides this, American will also launch two or three routes from Philadelphia to one of the following destinations, Frankfurt, Stockholm, Budapest, Prague, Munich, Manchester or Edinburgh, as well as a resumption of flights between Dallas and Munich. I also want American Airlines or Qatar to begin Charlotte to Doha. I'm not sure how realistic this is, but since American launched Philadelphia to Doha, I can't imagine Charlotte could also get its own flight to Doha. And finally, I would predict that American will turn Chicago to Barcelona and Rome as well as Miami to Montevideo into year-round flights. Number 2. United will announce a long-haul expansion. Now I think most of these routes would be announced in 2024 but launched in 2025. Some flights I can definitely see coming include the return of Houston to Lagos which has been speculated for a few years now, as well as Chicago to Madrid, Stockholm and Porto, and newer routes from Newark to one or two of the following, Copenhagen, Budapest, Manchester, Prague or Valencia, and finally a trans-Pacific expansion from San Francisco to Nagoya and Bangkok. I also imagine United could begin Houston to Medellin, Colombia and maybe Paris, as well as Houston to Maui. But I don't know, I'm from Houston so I love to fantasize about this. Number 3. Delta will have a long haul expansion as well, including hopefully Los Angeles to Melbourne, Australia. I think it's possible since Sydney became twice daily in the winter and Auckland began last year. I can also see Atlanta to Lisbon, Boston to Barcelona, Detroit to Dublin and New York to Porto and Budapest. We won't see Portland to Tokyo back, but I would love to see the return of Portland to Seoul Engine, which was meant to begin last year but was cancelled, as well as Seattle to Osaka. Number 4. Delta or KLM could begin a new route to Amsterdam. This might be complicated because of slot restrictions at Amsterdam, but I mean you never know. We could see the return of Amsterdam to Tampa, which had begun in 2019 but was suspended in 2020, and maybe Amsterdam to Raleigh-Durham. Number 5. Delta or Air France will launch a new US destination from Paris to one or two of the following, Austin, Indianapolis, Nashville, Pittsburgh, Portland or San Diego. My top picks are Indianapolis and Austin, as well as hopefully new flights to Monterrey and Guadalajara. Number 6. Virgin Atlantic will add a new US destination which could be either Minneapolis or Salt Lake City, although I lean more towards Minneapolis. This would complement the existing daily service on Delta Airlines between London and these two airports. Number 7. As part of the Delta Latam joint venture, I predict the return of flights between Detroit and Sao Paulo, as well as new routes from Atlanta to Medellin and Fortaleza, as well as Lima to either Boston, Chicago or Las Vegas on Latam Peru. Number 8. As part of the Aeromexico Delta joint venture, and since Mexico has been upgraded to FAA Category 1 status, I can't imagine Aeromexico will begin a few of the following routes, including possibly Mexico City to Corpus Christi, Harlingen or Laredo, Texas, as well as Mexico City to Kansas City, St. Louis, Philadelphia, Phoenix or Tampa. The return of flights from Leon and Querétaro to Los Angeles, as well as upgrading Mexico City to Dallas into mainline aircraft. Number 9. 
JetBlue will add three or four destinations in Europe with the introduction of the Airbus A321 XLR, including possibly Lisbon, Barcelona, Milan, and Rome, with flights from both New York, JFK, and Boston. Number 10. Alaska Airlines will launch a big expansion including new domestic flights from Seattle to Des Moines, Hartford, Jacksonville, Norfolk, and Richmond, and maybe San Diego to Norfolk and international flights to the Caribbean and Central America, including Seattle to Montego Bay and Punta Cana, and Los Angeles to Montego Bay, Punta Cana, San Juan, and San Salvador, as well as new flights from Anchorage to Boston and Washington Dulles. The Boeing 737 MAX 8 should make these longer flights possible. Now, since Alaska Airlines announced this December that they're going to be buying Hawaiian Airlines, I decided to include them in this prediction, so I predict that Hawaiian will return to Brisbane and also begin flights to Melbourne. I can also see Hawaiian launching flights to Chicago. I mean, if they'll join the One World Alliance, then Chicago is a no-brainer, being an American Airlines hub, especially since American left the route as well as Honolulu to Arena, which I think is very likely to get Hawaii flights sometime soon. Number 11, Air Canada will launch short-haul flights from Toronto to Guadalajara and Vancouver to Monterey, as well as possibly Toronto to Jacksonville, Omaha, Providence, and San Antonio, and long-haul flights from Vancouver to Melbourne, Montreal to Bordeaux and Zurich, and Toronto to Milan, Nice, Bucharest, Prague, and Porto. Number 12, Avianca will launch new flights to North America, including possibly new flights from Bogota to Tampa, Chicago, Newark, and Montreal, as well as Medellin to Houston, Cali to Orlando, and also San Salvador to Denver or Chicago, San Jose to Chicago, and Guatemala City to San Francisco and Toronto. Side note, on January 10th, Avianca announced they will begin flights to Montreal on March 31st. Number 13, Copa Airlines will launch a new destination in the US. My top picks are Panama City to Dallas Fort Worth, Nashville, and Raleigh Durham. Number 14, Azul will launch one or two new destinations in the US, including possibly Campinas to New York, which had been announced before and canceled twice, and also Campinas to Las Vegas, and I think it's possible that Azul could launch Porto Alegre to Fort Lauderdale. Number 15, Play Airlines will add one or two new destinations from among the following, Hartford, Providence, Philadelphia, Newark, or Chicago. Some of these are located between the large metro areas of the Northeast, while Play has also mentioned they could start flying to a second airport in New York City. Number 16, Aslan Air will launch one or two U.S. destinations, possibly Philadelphia, Cleveland, Columbus, or Kansas City. My top picks are Philadelphia and Cleveland, but any of them are possible. Number 17, Aer Lingus will launch one or two new routes to the U.S., including Baltimore, Detroit, Nashville, Raleigh, or Tampa. My top picks are Nashville and Detroit. I would predict they will also launch a new route from Manchester to Boston which had been announced a few years ago before it was cancelled, and also Manchester to Chicago. Number 18. British Airways will launch a new U.S. destination from among the following. Columbus, Hartford, Indianapolis, Kansas City, and St. Louis. My top picks are Indianapolis and St. Louis. Number 19. Iberia will expand in North America, with flights to Toronto, Montreal, or Philadelphia. The Airbus A321 XLR would make these flights possible, as well as new flights to Seattle with the Airbus A330. I also think this is the year that the Guatemala City San Salvador flights will finally be split and flown separately non-stop instead of it being a triangular flight. Number 20. As part of the Lufthansa Group, Lufthansa will launch flights from Frankfurt to Nashville. I could also imagine Munich to Houston, Bogota, and Sao Paulo. Austrian Airlines will resume flights to Boston and ITA, which is not part of the Lufthansa Group yet, but Lufthansa is planning on buying a stake on them, will launch flights to Montreal, Newark, and Mumbai. Number 21. TAP Air Portugal will finally launch Lisbon to Los Angeles. They had planned to begin these flights in 2020, but they were cancelled due to a pandemic before a start date was even announced. Number 22. A lot of Polish airlines will announce one or two of the following destinations, including either Washington Dulles, which had been operated before, San Francisco, Boston, or Montreal. My top picks are Boston and Washington. I would also predict that a lot will resume Budapest to New York this year. 
Number 23, Scandinavian Airlines will join the SkyTeam Alliance, and as a result, new routes will include Atlanta to Copenhagen and Stockholm on either Delta or SAS, but other possible routes include Copenhagen to Minneapolis, which was this last year. And I would also expect Oslo to New York JFK and Stockholm to both JFK and Boston. Uh, um, side note, on January 16th, as I was editing this video, SAS announced they will begin flights from Copenhagen to Atlanta on June 17th, 2024. Man, I shouldn't have been so delayed on this video. Number 24, Turkish Airlines will finally launch Istanbul to Denver, Colorado, which they had been teasing for a while now. They will also announce flights to Orlando for next year, hopefully, as well as new flights to Rio de Janeiro and Santiago de Chile. Now, the most exciting thing would be the beginning of flights to Australia, to Melbourne at first, and later to Sydney, with a stop in Singapore. I also predict that Turkish will separate and rearrange their flights to Mexico by offering non-stop flights to Cancun through three times a week, as well as 11 weekly to Mexico City, of which the return flight will have a stop in Monterrey daily, and Cancun four times per week, therefore making Cancun daily. Number 25, North Atlantic Airlines will launch multiple new routes. North will launch a new flights from London Gatwick to Cancun, Punta Cana, and Bangkok, as well as summer flights to Las Vegas, while in the rest of Europe, I could also see Paris to Las Vegas and Orlando. New York to Barcelona, Budapest and Milan, and Miami to Milan. While they could also begin flights from Paris and Berlin to Bangkok and Oslo to Phuket, given the success of Oslo to Bangkok, which started this winter. Number 26. Air India will add new flights to the US. Now I know some info was leaked about Dallas, Los Angeles, and Seattle, but I'm gonna act like that didn't happen. Anyway, Air India will begin flights to Boston and Los Angeles this year. They will also announce Houston, DFW, and Montreal, while Washington flights will be upgraded to daily A350s. Now other new routes could include Mumbai to Chicago and Toronto. Number 27, my Africa predictions include Ethiopian Airlines will return to Houston and possibly begin flights to Montreal. Ethiopian had flights to Houston, but they were canceled due to the pandemic, and Ethiopian has shown interest in returning to Houston. They've also mentioned interest in flying to Montreal, which had been a struggle due to flight limits by the Canadian government, but I think it could be announced this year. Both of these flights would have stopovers somewhere in Europe or Africa. Royal Air Maroc will begin flights to Chicago and Egypt Air will launch a new US destination, either Boston, Chicago or a return to Los Angeles. Number 28, Etihad Airways will launch a new US destination which could be either Los Angeles or Miami and could be operated using the Boeing 787-9 instead of the Boeing 777-300ER that Etihad used to fly to LAX a few years ago. Number 29, Japan Airlines will launch a new US destination. My top picks are either Las Vegas, which has wanted Japan flights for a very long time, or Portland, which has connections with Alaska Airlines and was recently dropped by Delta. So I think it's possible that Japan Airlines attempts these two routes. Number 30, other East Asian predictions include Cathay Pacific returning to Seattle after a four years hiatus, Starlux will launch flights to Seattle or New York, and Philippine Airlines will begin flights to Seattle, and Vietnam Airlines will launch Ho Chi Minh City to Los Angeles. Now onto my honorable mentions that I'd rather not take so seriously because I don't think they're realistic. Qantas will launch flights from Sydney to Seattle, from Brisbane to either Dallas or Chicago, which I don't think is likely due to the aircraft shortage at Qantas, as well as possibly Fiji Airways launching new flights to Dallas-Fort Worth, and Gulf Air launching flights to New York. And so that's all my new route predictions that I have for 2024. This was a very long list and I know not all of them are realistic. I'm not an expert, I just love to speculate, but I really hope y'all enjoyed this as I did. I will at the end of the year make a video talking about the predictions that came true and the ones that didn't. And hopefully this year I'll be able to make videos more frequently, but no promises. We'll see. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all got any questions, comments, or any feedback, y'all can leave a comment. I also got an Instagram that y'all can follow where I post some cool stories, maps, and pictures over there, so go ahead and check it out. Anyway, that's all I gotta say, and I'll see y'all later.